Welcome to the Humboldt Tax YouTube channel. I'm Doc, and this time I'm going to show you how I grip all my handles using a rasp, a wood file, and a whole mess of sand. And really appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe down below so we can grow this channel. Also, hit that little bell as well. It'll notify you the next time I post a video. Part three, I'm going to show you how I laser burn in my Humboldt Tax logo and personalize these handles for individuals. So stay tuned, hang with me, because I'm going to get to it. <laughs> Well, it's next day. Yesterday was pretty long. We had uh, Mike and his crew come out and fall that big redwood tree over there. It was unhealthy at the top, so came out and took it down. Moving. It's shaking. There it goes. either you know what I'm saying anyway I was dragging yesterday when I started working on these but I got them all good good to go fitting tight too so what I'm gonna do now is get the handle fixed I'll take the draw knife and there's there's a coating on here I think it's lacquer or something I don't know but I'll take a dry knife dry draw knife and scrape all that off of there I don't like doing it on my sander because it'll gum up my belts and I don't want to overuse them but these are all good I'll go through what I'll do is uh, I'll get this all scraped off and I'll prepare the handle I like to grip all my handles and make a little bit of a swell here and put some grips in there and that's what I do with mine anyways. So, all right, well, I'll get set up and grab my rasp and draw a knife here. I can even sharpen it up first. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get it set up. Show you what I do with it anyways with Mike's. This is Mike, Mike Flowers here. I'm gonna get his done, but I'm gonna get these other three done as well. This turtle is partner and that's going to Stedman and this is going to Scott Lanigan. He's the faller. He's the he's the gentleman that, that took down that tree. So anyway, I'll get set up and get cooking on it. That's a snug fit. Alright, so it's a nice handle too. It's a 32 inch. Show you what I do here. It ain't rocket science. But this lacquer or whatever they put on there is just to preserve it, you know. I just take the old draw knife. Comes right off. Saves me belts, you know. Takes it right off too. I don't like to expose the wood till I have to, especially when I'm trying to get it fit, because it just it'll mark up the wood and all that. I mean, I want to sand it good and put a burn on it. But I try to take care of my handles as I'm working with them. Now I ain't perfect. It's just how I do it. I've seen so many ways of doing axes. I don't know what's right or wrong. I just know how I, this is how I do it. You know what I'm saying? Alright. 
I'm gonna finish these up, and then uh, I'll put the I'll do the I'll do the grip on there and bring you back then. See what I got going here? I just use a little belt sander, and I make a pronounced swell there. So I'm just taking it down a little bit, and uh, that's about it. The other thing I like to do is round off these edges just around the whole thing off plus when you go to banging on the I go to set that head you'll crack I've cracked handles not taking this so I'll chamfer it off and smooth it out that's it back to it I'm just using my little belt sander there that's about it I don't know if you can see that but round off the swell just do my little wood file and round it off my hands are jacked, so I like to have something so my, you know, just for help with the grip is all. A little extra step. Especially if you got grip. <laughs> you get all tired from running a damn power saw all day. Come home and split wood. Plus my hands have had it anyway. I mean, I can still grip fine, but whatever. I just like the feel of having it gripped, and I'll put the things in there with the graphs. That's pretty good. Like that. Grasp. I got to get a better one. It's kind of a cheapo, but. Hello. little groove just enough to you know whatever I tend to flip my axe my double bit when I split and flapjack or whatever so I lighten up my grip and when it hits the wood it'll it'll bounce that wood to the side with a double bit you should learn the technique maybe I'll I got wood to split that'd be another video eh that's it. I basically make it to my hand. Ain't too scientific, I'll tell you that. And I got average size hands. I ain't no big dude. I'm just standard issue. My dad had big old hands, man. He had hands like leather. He's a mechanic for 50 years or something. You grab a hold of his hands, man. You grabbing a leather glove, hit big old forearms. That's my dad there. Oh. Yep. Passed away a couple of years ago during COVID. He didn't die from COVID. Just it was his time. My stepdad Chuck had big old hands too, man. You can tell a lot by shaking someone's hands. He's a rancher, man. Work gas construction for PG&E all them years. Man, you grabbed a hold of his hand. I mean, dude, big old leather mitts. Tell a lot when you shake a dude's hands. That's for sure. I've had bosses that, well, whatever. You know, they talk about their little ranching and taking care of their horses. And then you go to shake their hands. Their hands are so soft. It's like, hey, man. Whatever. And you know when you shake a rancher's hands immediately. Or a mechanic. Ain't mine, that's for sure. <laughs> mine are messed up from skateboarding mainly. Oh yeah. it I started gripping my axes because it just feels more comfortable in my hand I don't want a big old baseball bat in my hand it just allows me to get my hand right around it you know where it's comfortable anyway depends on who I'm making them for I'll either use my hand or if I know it's somebody big like my stepsister Gail's husband man that guy's got big hands too so when I made his axe I had to <laughs> I knew Bob's got big old hands. Hey, Gail, how are you? Hey, Bob. So I 
made hairs a little bigger. That was a big dude axe. Man, that one was nice. Big old jersey bit head. Okay. The other thing I found, whether your fingers feel directly in there or not, it still gives you a little bit of a grip. And if you lighten it up a little bit, and you ain't got to squeeze a hundred percent. All right. Let me clean this up. That's kind of the idea right there. Anyway, it's going to be a nice slinger. All right, let me clean it up. I'll bring you back in. Basically, the idea right there, you can see that? Yeah. That's it. I'm not going to put the thumb in there. On the double bits, I'll put a thumb notch on the top here, but since it's a single, it doesn't really mean it. So I'll go through with this file and clean it all up before I get the sanding on it. Set you back up here. I don't know. Hopefully, you can see that. I find the more I do with this, the easier it is to go over because I'll sand this whole thing smooth and get it ready to burn. But this thing works great. Just smooths out all these little rough edges. Otherwise, I'll be out here all day sanding on this, which I probably will be anyway. You know what I'm saying? Axes don't leave me until they're as perfect as I can get them. I mean, these are custom axes. They're all flawed one way or another, and I ain't perfect by any stretch. But I do guarantee you this, I'll give you all my effort. Put my name on something. At least you know I did my best for you, you know what I mean? Alright. Alright. Let me finish this off here and I'll show you the end result before I go on to the next step here. Whew. All right, Mike. This one came out nice. It's basically roughed. It doesn't have a big swell. I just put a little indention in there just to, you know. Oh yeah. That's it. This one's ready to be sanded. All right. Turtle, you're up next, buddy. I'm going to get these all done. I won't take you on the journey. Man, these things are tight. I need my... Motivator here. All right. Do turtles here. Then I'll do John Stedman's and Scott's and... Get the sand in so I can get the burning and go on to the next step. All right. All right, turtle. That's you, buddy. You're good to go, man. Oh, yeah. That'll fit you up good, buddy. Do Scott's. Man. Whew, that's a tight fit. All right. Rinse and repeat. I got two more. And we get on to the boring bit with the sanding. All right, Scott. That'll do you right there. Yeah. All right. All right. John Stedman, haven't met you yet, buddy. But I got you hooked up. I watched some of your YouTube videos. I love it. I respect commitment and passion. 
I'll do this one upright for you. All right, John. I've never shaken your hand yet, so when I do, I'll know if I got you fit up right. But that's a tight fit, though. It's a council, it's a three and a half fit uh, pound council jersey, but I don't know if you can see that on the thing or not. But all right, well, now I get to do the boring part of sanding them all. I'm gonna, oh well. These are mirror plugs. <laughs> Let's see what's on the playlist. Well, we got Slipknot, little Ozzy Osbourne with Zach Wild. I love Black Label Society. What else? Creed Fisher. Oh, yeah. We always got to have Van Halen. Love Van Halen. I'm a metalhead, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me get set up. My brother Frank got me hooked on metal when I was way young. He played me the Eruption solo from the first Van Halen album. I thought, what was that? Been hooked on Van Halen ever since. ACDC, Ozzy Osbourne, and then Metallica hit in 83 or 84, Kill 'Em All album. Oh yeah, and that was off to the races, so whatever. That's what I listened to. All right, well, I'm gonna get set up out here and get these things sanded out. Yeah, turtle, look at that. Nice. That's gonna look badass when I get it burnt. Mike, I'm gonna hit yours up right now. Good night. Ooh, that's snug. battery gonna come out nice so I'm done for the day this sander's great except when it runs out of battery I like this battery powered mouse sanders but batteries ran out so I had to order some more batteries they should be in a couple of days I had to get another chair my other one lost a wheel when I was scooching. I fell on my ass. Pardon me, I fell on my rear end, and so there it is. I let an expletive fly, and then I chucked it out there, and like a zombie, it popped back up, and it's just hanging. That son of a. Anyway, it's gone. All right, I'm gonna get set up. That is a sanded handle. Man, takes a while, but when I go put a burn on it, if you don't get all those little ridges out of there, they show up. Man, good to go. Whew. On to the next. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. If you could please subscribe to the channel down below. Also, make sure you ring the bell to notify you every time I post a new video. 
Part three, I'm going to show you how I laser burn in my Humboldt Axe logo and I personalize these axes for individuals. So thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.